80 years ago this month, prohibition ended in the United States. The banned alcohol era is all but forgotten in parts of Brookhaven, where a monument survives even today for the whiskey runners of the time. Jacob Kittlestad explores what's called Lincoln County's Moonshine Hub this Mystery Monday. Well, well. I, I just moved here about eight years ago. They used to call it the old carpet pot. That's all I know. But it's a good way to describe where you stay. I mean, a lot of people ask where I stay, and I can just describe that and they'll know where I stay. The wooden percolator, standing five feet tall, overlooks Brookhaven's first street. And they think it was just a little cafe. James Calhoun. Everybody in the world knows me as Jim owns a car yard nearby. He says it was his uncle, Seymour Boone, who put the scheme together around the 1930s. Now, now. Built a, uh, that cough pot for an outlet to the moonshine whiskey that he sold. <laughs> that truth that was the purpose of building the building. He'd go in a little 35 Ford Coupe. Hmm. He would load the trunk of the thing up and even in the back seat full of 15-gallon wooden barrels. That's how he got his whiskey, in little 15-gallon wooden barrels. Bring them back here and pour it out into glass containers and sell it here. They wasn't a lot of money. Back then, you could buy a quart of whiskey for a dollar. <laughs> Between Kiln and Brookhaven, he'd haul the bootleg whiskey. Liquor stores simply did not exist, older neighbors say. And in true whiskey runner fashion, this story has a tragic ending. He was on 51, going south towards the Boga Chitter. And between Brookhaven and Boga Chitter, he got in an accident there. He ran head on into another car. They brought Uncle Seymour to the hospital here in Brookhaven, and he lived about a week till he died. And the fella that hit him was not hurt badly. And he made him promise on his deathbed that they would not prosecute this man. He said, I sold him the whiskey that caused him to get drunk and caused him running to him. Do not pro and they didn't prosecute him. So what happens now? The coffee pot is still standing, but the exact future of this building is still unknown, while its past remains a mystery for many people living in Brookhaven. You didn't go there for coffee, definitely not. <laughs> Exploring the unexplained on Mystery Monday, Jacob Kittlestad, News Channel 12. Now, now. Well, if you associate the iconic building with the Carruth family, who were longtime owners, well, they say this information is new to them. They want to make sure their strict Baptist ancestors' names are cleared. That's where my mother met my father. They had curb service. They had a nice restaurant uh, for hamburgers. I ate a mini hamburger there. And I know that my family wasn't involved with bootlegging. I don't think. <laughs>